Today is an amazing day because we have the brand new Moors in Modern Warfare 3. You do have to unlock Sector 4 in the Battle Pass to get it. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get the Black Cell so we can quickly get it. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of like the variant look of it. And it's probably gonna put some weird attachments on it, but this is the fastest way to get it. And we should be able to get the MP11 and the Shadow Daggers pretty quick as well. Darn you, Sledgehammer actually making a good season. I just bought it and I don't have anything. Huh? Wait, what happened to my game? Maybe if I just restart multiplayer real quick, it'll work. Okay, yeah, we're good. Jesus, I was worried for a sec. But if we go to our LAB class, we should be able to put the Moors on now. The base is locked. I'm probably gonna go with the Black Cell version of it. That just looks really clean. It's got some attachments on it. Wait, oh, it has the Photonic Charge Barrel. Wait, what? I know that sounds so dorky, but it's basically the aftermarket part. I don't know if this is necessarily what we want on the gun. We also have the Moors Red Dot site. Interesting. I wonder if that's the OG Red Dot site from the Moors and Advanced Warfare. Because that's what it's kind of looking like. Oh my god, that's so clean. Dude! Wait. Okay, so the photonic charge barrel is not what we want. Because you can, like, really charge it up. Oh, my God. I don't think this is what we want. But my- You can hear the original sound, dude. It's in there. Like, that's crazy, man. We're going to take this barrel off and just see how it is without that, though. We don't want to hurt the ADS and sprint to fire. So we're probably going to take, like, all this stuff off. Except for maybe this one. But you don't necessarily want to hurt your flinch resistance when you're sniping. Because flinch is so bad. But let's see how it is with less attachments. Oh. Oh, that's kind of a slow fire rate. Oh, I'm a little worried now. But we don't have to reload at all. I mean, like, that's still pretty consistent. But we're definitely gonna have to rank this thing up as fast as possible so we can get that quick bolt. We got 19 levels to go. So yeah, we're gonna go through this so fast. I wanna get all the camos for it as well. So let's check out the challenges. Get 50 kills. Get 50 kills shortly after ADSing. Get 10 long shots. Oh boy. Who let Infinity Ward pick the camo challenge? And then we got 15 one-shot kills. I mean, these are actually really easy challenges. Thank God. And then you have to get 50 kills while using a magnification scope with the more. So I think that's any site. So honestly, getting gold at least, or gilded, is gonna be super easy. And then for Forge, we have to get 15 headshots. That's not too bad. Gets two operator headshot kills in one life with the Moors. I mean, that's not difficult. It's a little tedious though. But if you do a ton of sniping, I mean, getting interstellar for this thing is gonna be a piece of cake. Let's go, man. Gotta say as well, I really dig the blue background and I like the background music that they changed to. It's actually like pretty sick. But yeah, we got Capture the Flag back and we also have Emergency and Six Star 24-7, the brand new 24-7 playlist for the new maps. Aside from that, we don't have anything else that's looking new and we lost 12v12, which is a little bit of a bummer. And in the video where I was covering Modern Warfare 3 Season 3 stuff, I saw some comments from you guys saying that there were no new war maps coming with Season 3, and that is a bummer. Like, there is a lot of great content coming, but I kind of wish that they were going to either make new war maps or just bring back some of the old ones from COD World War 2. I'm also just realizing that we lost shipment 24-7, but we do have the small map playlist. Let's give that a try. Wait, did they not turn off double XP? They- Dude! I don't know if they meant to do that or not, but we have double XP for everything right now, so that's pretty sick. Also, hold up, we got some new weeklies as well. Oh, that's for the LMG kit. I don't know if that's gonna be any good, but we're not gonna really be covering that in this video. Oh, dude, they changed the text for the maps, too. It looks more like Warzone now. All right, here we go. I forgot to get an inspection off, so let's check it out. Yeah, oh, there it is. That's, that's from the video. The little trailer thing they had for the Moors. I'm so ready, dude. Let's go. Dude, that, okay. Might be a little too slow for Rust. Also, why does it have an LAB icon in the kill feed? What is this guy doing? What are you doing? Also, I swear that's paintball mode. Like, the Black Cell variant is giving us paintball from Advanced Warfare. Dude, this kill feed is gonna be moving too fast for how slow the Moors is right now. Not gonna lie, Sledgehammer, you guys should probably add the Moors icon to the kill feed ASAP. No one wants to be going for doinklies and not have the proper gun showing up in the kill feed. We need that back. Also, can this thing one-shot a counter? It sounds beefy enough. Nope. I love the sound so much, dude. You can hear the OG Moors. I love how it sounds. It's feeling okay. It's a little slow on the ADS side. We got it to level two already though. Let's go, man. I feel like we're not gonna be able to play as aggressive with this thing quite yet, but I do like the fact that we get a red dot site. Like we have the OG Moors red dot from Advanced Warfare, so we can kind of quick scope a little bit more. Whoa. No, no! <laughs> it ain't the quick bolt, it's the slick bolt. It ain't working. I will say this though. I don't think I've ever been this excited for a gun coming back in Call of Duty in quite some time. This was a genius move. Whenever they bring back guns, they usually get like a different name or it's not quite the same, but this is just straight up the Moors. It's the exact same gun from Advanced Warfare. It does feel tweaked to be a little bit slower than the one from Advanced Warfare, but they could always change that. They could always buff it if they need to. But we also don't have all the attachments too. So we don't know the full potential. But we're gonna be grinding, man. We're gonna get all of this stuff unlocked. We already got it to level three. I really wish we got, like, haired points or something. Dude, this thing is nasty so far, though, man. We're killing it. Whew! Shots on point, man. I've been playing Advanced Warfare trying to get ready. Obviously playing Modern Warfare 3 as well, too, so that way I'm, like, familiar with the game again. I got my first hit marker with this thing. And I'm pretty sure I shot his toe. That was such a bad shot. Oh! 
Dude, that little pop shot. I don't think I've had this much fun playing a new COD game in a minute, man. Like, this gun just saves it all. Like, if you love the Moors, of course you're gonna love this season. Oh! What's also really nice is we don't have that top crosshair, so you could easily go for trick shots with this thing. Because the hip fire accuracy will be a little bit better for no scopes. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a close one. Wait, I don't have a stim on this class? What am I doing? Oh, I think I was doing like a flashbang daily challenge yesterday or something. Oh my God, come on. It is a little too slow to feed with right now, though. That's the only problem. Yep, we got the W, though. First game on, first impressions. This thing is awesome. It looks, feels, and sounds basically the same as the Moors. It does feel a little bit slower, but again, we have to improve that with attachments. 2KD on Rust sniping. First game on, that's crazy. What is this cursed camo? What have you done, Sledgehammer? <laughs> they just put doggos everywhere. It's actually kind of cute in a terrifying looking way. That pattern is just gross. We got Domination on Emergency, so this is a brand new map, and they say it's small, and it's in the small map playlist, so gonna be playing Tiny High Rise for the first time. Okay, this is a pretty small map. I spawned on B. That's interesting. Okay, I gotta put a stim back on this class. Wait, I have a stim. Wait, no, that's the wrong class. All right, I'm putting the stim back on. Maybe we need to put on decoys just for quick XP. I saw that they added a really weird buff to decoys in this season. If you throw a decoy now, if you're within 20 meters, I believe that you get the benefits of the assassin vest. Seems completely unnecessary, but they did it anyway. To test this theory out, let's just put it on, even though we don't really need it for the assassin reason. We're mostly doing this for XP. Why did it put a flashbang back on? I'm so confused. I swear I'm changing this on the right class. This is the class I'm using. It will not put a decoy on. It's not changing my stuff mid-game. That is so weird. What's happening? It's like cycling through different things that I picked at different points in time. <laughs> Dude, we are killing it right now. Dude, this hallway, I swear a triple is going to line up. Oh. What? Oh, hey, we got the 50 kill challenge. Nice. I still don't know why we don't have decoys like every life. Something is broken with the gunsmith mid game. It's not the biggest deal. Like I don't need to throw decoys every life, but it, ooh. But it would level this thing up faster for sure. Just squeeze out that last little juice of XP. We must mid max our XP games. Oh no, dude! And the shots were just flying over there. She's like sliding back and forth, peeking in and out. You have to do it right now because the gun's just too slow. Like, I can't do a follow-up shot at all. We got it to level seven already though, it's going. We just need the bolt. All right, even though this is my first time playing the map, I feel like I already know most of what's going on. Like, it's not that hard to get used to it. Get, get over there. No, it's just too slow, man. Come on. Like, without a quick bolt, you're gonna have to get a collat or something to get a feed on screen. Just no way. We're flying through the levels, but I don't know if we can put the quick bolt on. Oh, we have the quick bolt already. Let's go. I don't know if it's gonna actually put it on the gun, though, because everything's like really bugged. Also, it looks like putting the attachment on kind of fixed my decoys. I think they're. Never mind. They're not fixed. They were fixed for one life. Ah, no. Here we go. He's closing the door. Why are you closing the doors? Stop hiding. There you go. We got to level nine. We're like halfway there. I actually like this map. This map is a small map. Yeah, man, that was a decent match. And we got the quick bolt. We can actually use it now. Oh, we got some kind of daily challenge too, or like the armory unlock. All right, so we gotta get the quick scope kills. We get another dog camo. I just realized that. I kind of wish we would have gotten a guns of the clown camo. That would have been really funny. I'm down to check out six star 24 seven because I haven't played it yet. But honestly, emergency 24 seven is probably gonna be the best small map 24 seven playlist to play right now. I know it was just my first game on, but that map actually does flow and play pretty well, at least in domination. I wanna see how much the quick bolt actually helps with the fire rate. Okay, it just improved improves the reload quickness by 11%, so hold up. If it's not actually increasing the fire rate, should we put on something that will speed up our reload? I swear there's something that increases your reload speed, right? Oh, it is gear, okay. It's actually in the gear section, so we don't have to take off Ninja. But I don't know if it's actually good to apply it because every time I change something for this class, it switches it to the wrong class. It's putting it on this class instead. It makes no sense. I don't know if it will actually apply, but that could help a lot. Let's see how fast we can take out the dummies. Oh. This still feels really slow. Why does this feel slower almost? I'm laggy. Oh my god, why is it so laggy? Oh, we're good, we're good. I will say when I was getting the season three update, it was extremely slow on Battle.net, man. I don't know what was going on. Probably had to wait like 30 minutes for it to download and like patch the game and all that stuff. Update requires restart, redownload the shaders, typical nonsense. I'm just glad that this season's actually good so far. Like everything has been really fun. Oh my god, what is this map? It looks nice, but so far it's flowing kind of weird. At least for 6v6. I mean, we need like 10v10 coming back. It does look really nice. Like, this whole area looks really good. Dude, 
their team is getting destroyed. We got level 10. I know at level 11 we get the lasers. That's what we really want. All right, we got it to level 11. That is beautiful. I still don't know if it's going to fix the class properly mid-game because it just hasn't been working. But we can take the stock off and we can put a laser on. We're going to go with the Razor Hawk. Okay, I think it actually did put the Razor Hawk laser on. That ADS is so much better now. And they apparently did buff this laser. Like, it's not as noticeable as it was before. They got rid of the flashlight effect. And when you're hip firing, like, you're just standing around, it's not going to show up. I think this was intentional so that way people can use this and play more aggressively without being as penalized as they probably would be normally. I can't believe we got that kill. Wow. My team is nowhere to be seen on the hard point. And the other team is just sweating their balls off. I was just going to say, people who might still be using the longbow, they're going to have a field day with this. Because this thing is definitely not a longbow competitor. Like, it's just not. I don't know if a sniper in this game will ever compete with the longbow unless they nerf it into the ground. And I don't want them to do that. But it's just such a tricky balance. Because if they make every sniper as good as the longbow, then, like, nothing is going to really feel unique, you know? And it's overall just going to make sniping feel too easy. But it's still a difficult balance to strike. Because, like, you don't want the other snipers to be complete ass. We got it to level 13 already. Let's go, dude. Just step on the hard point as much as you can. You'll get so much XP. <sighs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm so ready to pop off today. I want to do something insane, but, like, I just feel like you can't snipe as aggressively with this thing. This class is pretty optimized, too. Like, I don't know if you can make this thing faster without completely ruining it, but it's almost built to perfection right now. Like, it should be, like, almost perfect. Oh. First collat. Come on! Oh, we almost had something, dude. This is an extremely close skill-based matchmaking lobby right now. It's great. Love this. I'm competing so hard right now. I mean, gotta do what you gotta do. He's just got his full auto brech. Come on, dude. But you smell like five-year-old Cheetos. Why do you even... Oh. Wait, wh what? This is so... F the fact that someone decided to pull out a brecci at the last second... Trash. <laughs> Trying to use the moors against a bunch of triard SMGs and ARs and brecci's. This has been a blast. The latest rank play update is really interesting. Yeah, I mean, I was still top in here with the most time playing the objective while sniping. Gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of that map. And some people were led to believe that this was gonna be like raid remastered from Black Ops 2, but it's not even close. I'm going back to Emergency 24-7 because this map was actually kind of small and it played out well. We got the Moors at 16 out of 19. It's going pretty good. We're only missing a handful of attachments now, but honestly, I don't know if we're gonna need all of them. Wait, what? You can reduce the bullet velocity, but increase the damage even more. Oh, that's crazy, though. Wait a second. That makes this thing a one-shot kill anywhere, pretty much. Except for maybe the toes, but, like, look at that damage increase. We might have to consider that. Maybe we'll take off the grip, and I'll put the ammo on, if it'll actually count. I think it will. Holy. Oh! No, the fourth guy, he ran. If we would have had a collat there, we would have had our first quad feed for sure. What are you doing with the crossbow? Also, if you just like no scope this thing. That's pretty fast. The trick is trying to get the ADS timed with the fire rate because you have to aim out in order to rechamber. Level 18, we've almost got it max already, man. Jesus, I, that was definitely not last, but that would have been sick. But yeah, after playing around with the moors for a bit and trying out some different attachments and pretty much almost getting it maxed out, this thing slaps. Maybe not as hard as the longbow, but it's still really good. But without a doubt, an absolutely iconic weapon to bring back into a Call of Duty game for sure. I'm gonna have to keep grinding and try out some different attachments and stuff. I just, I wanna hit something with it so bad. So far, it doesn't feel quite fast enough to be able to pull that off unless you're like getting some kind of collat or something, which ultimately means that it's gonna take a lot of time before you can really clip with it because if you have to get a collat to get something on screen, it's just gonna take a while and we got new maps and stuff We don't have 10v10 or 12v12 at the moment So trying to get those lineups is gonna be pretty tricky But in the meantime, we can do some camo grinding and stuff like that And there's all kinds of other stuff to check out for the season So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unlock and check out the brand new moors in Modern Warfare 3 Definitely like and subscribe if you guys want to see some more brand new Modern Warfare 3 stuff very soon I'll see you guys later Now come, train go. <laughs>